If you're having problems shooting on NBA 2K25, I have the solution for you right here in this video. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another motherfucking banger. Now look, I have been ISOing since NBA 2K25 dropped. And when I say this is the hardest shooting 2K we have had in a long time, I mean this is the hardest shooting 2K we have had in a very, very, very long time. But look, man, you can see right here, I'm in the proving grounds with it. For me, I am performing, though. I am getting used to the shooting. And this is on a 6-7 point guard build, which a lot of people don't use. But I have been using this 6-7. I made it a few days after drop. I made my 6-6 six, six first. And I jacked the 6-6. Six, six. But the 6-7, I feel like, is the tools destroyer, man. And if you want the build, I will be dropping the build soon. But you see, like, you see how I'm shooting, bro. Like, I'm not hiding no stats. You can look at the scoreboard. You can see what I'm shooting in each of these clips. Like, I be shooting that motherfucker on this build. I ain't gonna lie, bro. And this build only has a 78 three ball. So you know the custom is Coke, butter, cheese. Look at that. Break back animation still green. Like, we be on this performing, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. So... This is the best custom for all of my guards, 6'5 and up. I do not have a 6'4 or smaller build just yet, but I will be making one soon. And when I make a 6'4 smaller guard, y'all will have the jump shot for that build as well. And enough said, man. Comment down below what other videos you want to see, what other tutorials you want. Like, subscribe, and follow my Twitch. We going live almost every day. Lay on niggas, bro. Let's get into the jump shot. All right, so now let's get straight into the jump shot. You see the jump shot name right there. Let's go straight into the creator. And here it is. I'm going to get straight to it. Jared Culver base with Kyle Culver release one and Oscar Robertson release two with it's between jump and set point exactly 30 in. I want you to hit this carefully. It's between jump and set point exactly 30 in, which means if you go to jump, you click to the right 30 times exactly, and that's where I have it for myself. Now, if you want it to be a little slower, you can edit the jump shot to where you prefer to release the ball. I feel like that's the best part about jump shots this year is that you don't have to copy my jump shot word for word, ball for ball. What I will say is, Jared Culver is indeed one of the best bases for six foot five and up guards. Point blank period. No questions asked. Jared Culver is top at least like top three bases in the game for a bigger guard on this game. Another jump shot you can use if you want to. Again, I'm gonna go in the animations, straight to the jump shot creator, right? Why did it automatically open that one? I don't know. But it's Jared Culver, Kyle Culver, Rudy Gay. It feels almost the same as the other one. It's a little bit shorter in release height, so the set point and the push is a little closer. And I do like Rudy Gay's release, but I've been using the Oscar one a little bit more. I don't know, it just feels a little bit more stable. Uh, there's another base on this game that if you want to use, you can. And that is Ben Shepard. That is another banger base that uh, if you want to use it, I would I would recommend it personally. Like it's really, really quick though. So if you don't got the thumbs of hell, you don't want to use it. Uh, I don't have the jump shot in this video, but I'll show the base is on my other build. Another base you can use. I have to scroll down to it. It is Isaiah Collier. It is a really, really good base. It's like Ben Shepard, but smoother, if that makes sense. Like. Like, hold, let me show you with the jump shot. You see, like, it's like Ben Shepard, but a little smoother and a little bit slower. So if you want to slow down your release a little bit so it's not super quick and it's a little more stable, you definitely could use this bass right here, man. I ain't gonna lie. And if you want to tweak it to make it faster, look, that's all you gotta do. Just move it a little more over, get some faster release. I feel like the A release speed is just fine. Trust me, it is still fast. That is still a great jump shot, but if you just want to use mine, this is the jumper right here. Once again, copied on everything. It's exactly 30 into jump between jump and set point. 
max release speed 75 Kyle Culver, 25 Oscar Robertson, and take this jump shot and go crazy, man. And I ain't gonna lie, that's it for the jump shot, man. What I will say is, I do have a few more shooting tips for y'all. And uh, the first one is, you need to learn your release cue. No matter what you put your shooting on, you need to learn your release cue. The point in your player's jump shot where you release the ball, so that way it goes in the rim. And the reason for that is, the green window on this game, and it's confirmed by 2K Labs, it does move. But the green window is always, always at the same part of your animation. So you'll get a different animation where the green window's in a different spot. But if you know your animation, it'll be chicken. Which is why I'm kind of glad that uh, they allowed you to customize how far into jump, set point, push, release that your jump shot is. Because then you could create your own release cue that's comfortable to you. Make sure you do that. Even if you take my jump shot. Customize it to your like and make it fit how you play if you want a slower jump shot because you really only shoot open shots There you go or you hide them on screens or whatever there you go if you want a faster jump shot because like me you're isoing Customize it to what feels best for you, bro. The contest system is mid <clears throat> I wouldn't even say mid the contest system is pretty good, but like some shots that probably shouldn't be open be open You feel me? But you can make a lot of really, really difficult shots on this game if you just lock in. I'm going to keep it a buck with you, bro. So lock in. Lock in on the shooting. Tune into the Twitch so you can see all this happen live. Because these look like clips to me. For me, as a viewer, I would say the same shit. These just look like clips. But tune into the Twitch so you can see this happen in real time, man. I appreciate everybody who watched at the end of the video. I'll lay y'all niggas, bro. Peace out.